I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we are gathering together for urgent meeting. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Andrew Tate, I mean Tate, he is under the attack of the deep state. The matrix are coming again. All of us we knew that Andrew Tetz is a very decent man. I mean, who in the world can deny that? Can you? You, you, you. Can you? Who in the world want to believe in the accusation they say against him? Do you dare even to think about it? His holiness? This person, he's a wonderful man. He helped a lot of young men to start their pimping business. In fact, his university is still open until now. Brothers and sisters, if you like to be a pimp, the last offer of the pimp, refer and earn $30. Okay, Hustler University, it's deep. We are in a time where a pimp, he can open a school. That's cool. And listen, time is not in your side. Do you see the clock? Get lifetime access to the pimp school. He will teach you the art of masturbation. He will teach you how to fool a girl, how to make her do business for you, how to make money from a vagina. But remember, this is not a dirty business. He have a license. Yeah, he have a government. He pay his taxes. And when you look at what he is doing, look, Hurry up, price increase soon to $300. I mean, do you see how much generous he is? It is 49 only now. If you are late, and as you see, the clock is a clicking. The class will increase soon. You have only, only zero day, 19 hours, and 42 minutes to be screwed. He will take your money, and then he will tell you, didn't you see what's happening to me? I became rich, but I'm going to spend maybe the rest of my life in jail. 
I become rich by bad reputation and being a pimp? Only, brother. $49. I mean, I don't know. And look at this. Look. Look at those classes. Look, all of those things you can teach. What is this one? What is that? What is the one to do pimp business? Which one? All of them. And he, if you click at, uh, at any of those, a video of a Muslim boy will appear and he will tell you how he made $10,000 after he listened to Andrew Tate. And look, the guy next to him, he's making the same money, obviously. This is why he's still working for Andrew Tate for $10,000 an hour. <laughs> Dorak, Netherland, 19 years old. Dorak, what happened to you? What happened? Tell us what happened. Your experience, brother. What we can do? I want to be rich like you, brother. What you did? Are you rich? Why you're... I mean, you're rich. Where is your villa? Join now. You know, this is a promotion video. So I'm telling you, this is a promotion. Look at, look at, look at the scam. Yeah. Tell us, tell us uh, what happened into the econ campus when i was about 15 i saw drop shipping come around a little bit in my country in the netherlands so all i did was make a store and that completely flopped so the win in the econ wins channel was that i i can't even understand anything the music is so loud and i think it's done this way for a purpose i mean do you see the scam they bring you two guys he put them in the front of you to promote his scam what about, uh, you know, uh, tell us what is your business exactly and what is your bank account? I mean, where is the money? At least go and buy a car like Android Tits, you know? Uh, so this is how they fool those people. And this is how the scam work. And those people now, they will line up to be rich and they will pay him $50 each. To hear what? To hear garbage, nothing except, excuse my language, we are talking about Andrew Tate, peace be upon him, so I have to use the word shit. This is Andrew Tate, who is always showing us his tits. Where is the video? Huh. Okay. What is that? She was in the meeting too? Anyway, it was halal meeting. So Andre Tetz, he made an urgent meeting. He keep publishing in Twitter, urgent, 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 urgent. And then he got every scumbag in the world to join his ramble. You see how they even they fool people to go and even the one who is silly stupid he will become curious urgent what happened what will happen maybe maybe the matrix are now in his house it's urgent urgent and then he is eating pizza <laughs> anyway so urgent meeting and uh, okay and the video you watch it is uh, urgent meeting i just look for it you know i mean it's just a stupid dummy you know the guy one is smoking one is drinking uh, or uh, the whore pimp is making urgent meeting and he was so excited there's 500,000 people joined to watch him I assure you if you invite some Muslim girls with hijab naked you will get maybe five seven times more number try it if you don't believe me hmm. now after the urgent meeting and the supporter of Andrew Tetz they came from everywhere what they learn, what he was talking about. This case, which we can't really discuss. We cannot discuss the case because the case is ongoing. But you have to understand that everything is printed by Lucy and her. What, what, what? He cannot destroy, he cannot, uh, he cannot discuss, uh, the sound is so loud. Let me see if I can lower it. Uh... Friends is a lie. Uh, yesterday we were at Decot's office and five of the charges were removed. 
Yeah, no matter what the matrix says, yesterday when they change the status of your case file, they have to call you to the offices of DCOT. So I was looking at six counts of human trafficking. I went there yesterday. I didn't quite understand why I was going there. I didn't know if I was going to go back to jail. I didn't know what they... Okay, okay, listen, listen. How they are unfair and they remove six counts of a charge. I mean, those metrics are weird. Hmm. Those metrics are corporating. <laughs> I mean, the whole idea is a conspiracy. And now he is saying the matrix, they decide to take six charge off. Why the matrix are being kind to you, brother? Hmm. Did you bribe the matrix? Because I have a video of you saying you can bribe them. <laughs> Isn't it you? You have a video that says why I moved to Romania. And then you said, imagine if you enter to those Romanian and you carry money like this, what would happen? <laughs> you know, brother. So what? So those scumbags who support the scumbag, they say the deep state as if this guy is a head of a CIA or he's a pimp. I mean, if you, if you look at what they say, like deep state, this guy is a pimp. What deep state? What? I mean, if this guy is a religious uh, leader who is a, uh, uh, making revolutionary in the country against the this guy is a pimp and he is a filthy rich if the deep state against him trust me they can strip him from his money in two seconds in two seconds in fact until now USA did not even make any charges against him even though he is a US citizen and I wonder why because this guy, he made it clear that he is not paying tax. That alone is a bigger crime in, your, in USA, especially if you do it on purpose. Like, you know, it's not like your accountant, he uh, decide not to mention this because he thought this. No, he have it in video. He was teaching people in video how not to pay their taxes. That alone is a bigger crime in USA. So they drop six counts against him and yet they are the matrix oh mm. uh, yeah hold on you see just today it's funny that today we heard the news about both both has come back Hunter biden he pleaded guilty <laughs> i mean do you see the, the deep state they could not even save the ass of Hunter biden you idiot he, his father is the president His father is the president. Do you know? Do you know what the president mean? Potato. I can say for sure they would treat him differently. I mean, the guy he have a the 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 secret service with him wherever he go because he is the son of the president. It's part of his legal law. Which means even if they put him in jail, they have to put with him security. So listen, they, the deep state, the matrix, they catch him from his tail and he bleed guilty in two felon felony. One of them is the gun. This is a big, big crime. For what? What he did exactly? Did he kill somebody? No. Did he shoot somebody? No. Did he threat one of his girlfriend with it? No. So what he did? Just there is a box, box, in the application. It says, "Have you ever been convicted to or like you had taken drugs before?" He said, "No." Yeah, that's it. That's it. He did not open a pimp school yet. He did not lure women to work for him and open their legs to make money for him. He did not tell six girls, I love you all. And then they found that he is, I mean, each one of them, she think he is the only boyfriend and he made her 
open her legs to make money from her. He did not. And he is the son of the president, which is a scumbag like you. Still, he is in trouble. Hmm. If he got released without getting it charged, would you, uh, or would your opinion change on Tate brother? Oh, okay. Let me put you what you said to me. Thank you for sharing your question. Your question is very valuable for us. Here we have a best customer service, and soon I will ask one of the girls to speak to you in the camera. All right, and I think that will be more suitable for you because you are a fan of Android Tate and you expect the best service from Android Tate. You know, we appreciate Android Tate supporters. So, Basilius Andy saying, if he got released without getting charged, would your opinion change on Tate Brothers or you will still hate despite the fact might prove otherwise? Food for thought. First of all, I don't know, I never met this guy. First time I heard about him, it was from scumbags like who like him. Otherwise, why even I wouldn't know about a pimp? Somebody told you I register in camera websites? I wouldn't know about him, so why I want to hate him? I have nothing against the guy as a person, but he's a pimp. So he is guilty before he go to court. I mean, the stupid you asking me if I will change my mind about a pimp until now his business is open. <laughs> Doesn't matter really if they charge him or not. I mean, the guy, he have $300 million in his bank account. All of it is coming from the sweetness of the vagina. And you asking me if I will change my opinion and accusing me of hate? My friend, the only thing I hate is the stupidity. And obviously you are stupid. What if this guy, he took your sister and he did to her what he did to them? I'm sure you will be proud of your sister and your wife if she worked for him. Would you hate him? Oh, you know what? Andrew Tate, he said, he admit to sell drugs in old video when he was 25 years old. He says he never committed crime. Can I link the video? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you sell drugs, I mean, just to show you how people are really silly. I'm not insulting you, by the way, but this is how I talk. Don't you like the people who say those, like Andrew Tate, he say the F word nonstop and you people like him. If I say I committed a crime, how old is he now, guys? How old this guy is? Anyone can tell me how old the uh, Android Tate's now? What is his age now? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? He's like, what, well, maybe 35, 36, 37? I'm just judging by the look. How old is he? Thirty-six. Okay, whatever it is. So let us say ten years ago, I did sell drugs. Brother, he was just twenty-five years ago. What twenty-five years old only? Long time ago. Only I mean he was a kid. He was just twenty-five years old. <laughs> Do you see how they justify the idiot? If you are 19, you go to jail, you donkey. So what if you are 25 years old? And this is the proof that this guy is a donkey. He can take you to hell with him. He isn't, he's is a criminal, but he is a stupid criminal. He go on TV and he say, I did this. <laughs> This is the guy who wanna teach you how to have a better life. He screwed himself. So if he say, I was selling drugs, how many people he killed them by drugs? Are you talking about drugs 
or aspirin, brother? I think you are speaking about different kind of drugs. I think it was Tylenol. You know, it's like Taylor and Noel. Your tail is getting bigger defending him. So if somebody sold drugs in many countries, the punishment is execution. There's difference between penalty for the one who uses drugs and the one who sell drugs. And if he did that when he was in USA, good luck with 15 to 20 years in, in jail. It doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago or 12 years ago. People are stupid. People have no brain. How many people die because of his drugs he is selling? Is that an easy crime? Is that like something, nothing, not a big deal? Okay, you know what? He did hit somebody and then he felt sorry. No, this is drugs. Drugs kill you, idiot. Drugs destroy life. So if he admitted that he used drugs and sell drugs, why that? Why he's accusing the matrix? I will tell you. I think what happened. One of the matrix from Bangladesh called him. Teradam, 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 teradam. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, who? I'm Dr. Naik, and I am a dog for you. Listen, you are, talking, you are calling the wrong number. You are calling who? I'm speaking to Brother Andrew Tate. Uh, Zachary Naik, this is not Andrew Tate. I'm a Christian prince. Listen to me. First of all, you are Andrew Tate, you are changing your voice. Because you did not pay us for the drug we sent you from Bangladesh. Look, what the heck? Hey, listen. The Corona Yuka. I did not take any drugs from you. And I will not pay you anything. I took nothing. I'm not a drug dealer, man. I'm not under, don't you hear my voice? I'm not under date. Listen to me. First of all, I'm going to curse you. May Allah curse you. What, why you are cursing me, first of all? And I don't care for you, Allah. So he cannot do anything to me. But why you are cursing me? First of all, number one, we Muslim, we are very decent. Uh -huh. uh, but you just told me you are selling drugs to Andrew Tate, and he is selling drugs to the Muslims. First of all, the other big fat liar. He don't sell drugs to the Muslims, he sells drugs only to the Christian. Oh, he said drugs only to the Christians. Is that naked lawful? Exactly. And what else he does? Is that true? He opened a pimp business and he have a web camera? Listen, please. First of all, the prophet wife, Aisha Pita, in the hadith said, that he decorated the hand thief and he the street. What, what, hold on, hold on. Let me translate to people because the, nobody understands your language. Aisha, the prophet wife, she decorated a girl and she made her walk in the street and... And he said to herself, let us hunt some boys from Croatia. What? Let us hunt some youth from Croatia, you mean? Exactly. So what is the connection? Written Prince, the private wife, beat me up on her. He is the first one to start the business of the bimp. To, 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 to what, what? To start the business of the bimp. To start the business of a pimp. So the private wife, she be pimpy. Exactly. And actually, this is where the word pimpy is coming from. Uh, and now I know. So I should decorate the women, so she put the makeup, nice clothes, see through, you, you know the tricks. Get them breath, please stop, please stop. What? Stop, stop. Well, stop what? Don't describe more. Okay. Are you getting affected by saying decorated her, putting makeup, you know, dressing, see through? Get them breath, for the sake of Allah, please stop. I can't make no more. That is very, make, make, make me very hot. Zach and I hold yourself, man. I mean, why are you getting out? We do not open any camera for you. Do you want to call a brother under tits to show you some cameras? Those are the ones who they are defending him. The guy, he admitted that he did the drugs when he was 25 years old. That alone will make you eat poo poo for a long time. Which country he did sell drugs when he was 25? In England or USA? If it's in USA, say hello. <laughs> Actually, this guy in his video, you know, he have a video and uh, uh, his, his fans are trying to remove it from the internet. 
about how he started his business. Uh, you know, uh, uh, he's, he used dirty language. So if you are sensitive, you like, you don't want to hear it, you know, mute it until we finish the video. All right. Listen, how decent and how decency work. Is a wonderful man. The Matrix, brother. The Matrix. Mm -hmm. Tell us, tits. Big. I found this little webcam thing, and I was like, mm, this might be some money. So I text all my girlfriends, I think it's five of them, text all five, said, you're all coming here to live with me and work with me. None of them knew about each other. All, <laughs> bro, Tristan will tell you the story. He'll tell you. All five flew in, picked them all up. They're all sitting there. I sat around the same table. <laughs> what? Bro, bro, I mean, and look, those two come back. They are excited. Yeah, hey, wow, somebody unbelievable. This is so good, man. You have, he's a hero. He has five girlfriends in the same table. I mean, can you do that? Be honest. Can you, can you accomplish such a mission? Lying to five girls in the same time. Each one of them, she think she is the only one in his life. Can you do th that alone is a crime because he brought them to make them work for prostitution. And Rotets, in his video, he was talking about, <clears throat> I saw like, you know, people, they are posting like little, I, I don't have time to watch his, his, his shit, excuse my language. Uh, he said, two girls, they made a TikTok and they accused me because of that, of a human trafficking TikTok. <laughs> this is the reason? There's hundreds of pages in the... In the <laughs> it turned to be TikTok. <laughs> so anyway, so listen, he's a decent man. And he is sitting with two scumbags like him. And they are enjoying the conversation, how decent he is. He speak to five or six girls in the same time. He's bankrupt. He called them, and now they are sitting in the same table. And here you see the story is very something very weird. How somebody is bankrupt, and he pay, like did he pay to their ticket to come? Or they paid. Either way, he is scamming them. And now he, he is saying he want to use those women to make money. He want to use them. Tell us more, Andrew Tits. And look, he's so excited. This guy is so full to the point he brag about his crimes. And those donkeys next to him do not know that he is just, you know, all those videos, when they play them in the front of the judges, they do not need papers. They do not need any papers. I mean, the, 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 the videos alone is enough to put you in jail for a long time. This is what the human trafficking is about. You speak to a girl online or whatever away and you make her think she love you know you love her and you want to marry her come to stay with me she come over she is a stupid from a stupid family her, her parents they maybe they are trashy they did not take care of their daughter she come and she stay with you and she then you start telling her oh you know what if you love me we have to make some money so we can get married and you know like this is easy just with the camera here we go i will pay for the camera the internet is here just said, you know, fool those guys. They are horny dogs. You know, just open your legs, play with your vagina a little bit, and your money, a lot of money. And Tits, tell us more. Listen, I need, to get, I need to get paid, right? I'm broke now. I, I, I'm retired from fighting. I have no money. I'm running out of money. So I put them all around the same table, and I was like, look, we're going to start a webcam business. You're going to stay. You're going to live in London. I'm going to look after you, and we're going to get rich, rich. We're going to be Guys, he will look after them. Do you know what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, they are the one he's, they are making the money. How he's looking after them? Anyone can tell me if they are the one making the money, how he is looking after them exactly. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. We are going to make money, okay? You open your legs, I look after you. Ooh. What the heck does that mean? Can you tell us more details? You know what? My degrees is equal to none. 
like yours. I mean, I spend my life studying and reading, you know, degree in law, master degree. I mean, all this stupid degree for what? Just date five girls and call them, make them sit in one table and say, listen, we want to get rich, okay? I'm going to take care of you. How you took care of them? Tell us. A team. And they're all like, well, who's this bitch? I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's my bitch. I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's who's this bitch? I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. She's my girl. You're all my chicks. Who's this bitch? I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. She's my girl. You're all my chicks. Who's this bitch? I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. She's my girl. You're all my chicks. Who's this bitch? I'm like, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. She's my girl. You're all my chicks. Oh. Brother, I apologize because the verse kept repeating itself. He was reciting the Quran. Each one of his hookers, she was asked, and by the way, they are not hookers. This is the biggest problem too. Those are not hookers yet. You see, if a, if a hooker, she accuse him of something, I say she is a hooker anyway. I mean, who's going to believe? You believe a pimp or you believe a hooker? Both are not, uh, they have zero ethic. But those girls, they were not hookers. They never worked in this business before. And that make it a big deal. If they are hookers from before, and he called them, he said, listen, you are hookers. Okay, come and work for me the same business. No, those are girls who met him because simply he told them he loved them. And now he did lead them into the business of a prostitution based in love. Love, brother. I take care of you. I sleep with you. I boom boom with you. I'll protect you from customer. You know, uh, you know, I am good in kickboxing. I'm a mule, like a mule, you know, kickboxing. Uh, Andrew Tits is not a new Muslim, true Muslim. Okay, Walid, why you don't call me, Walid? Guys, Mr. Walid, he is a Muslim. And he is so upset. He keeps saying to me, Andrew Tit is not a true Muslim. Why? Can you call me and tell me why he is not a true Muslim? Why? Who is a Muslim even there to say such a thing? Shame on you. In fact, I believe that you don't dare to call me to explain why he is a true Muslim because all evidence lead to Islam. Look, he lie, he cheat, he do pimp business, he sleep with many women at the same time. Isn't this is what Islam is about? Huh? Call me. I would love to listen to you. Maybe you have something to say. Maybe you can help out with something we do not know. Don't hesitate. I mean, even like the word hesitate fit with the name perfectly. Hesitate. But, you know, by the will of Allah, is going to change to his tits. And, you know, the funny is, this guy, he claimed that he is a champion, but he have bodyguards. Huh. I mean, you must be so brave. <laughs> you know, do you know how many threats I receive every day from the Muhammadan? Don't have bodyguards. <laughs> and I don't care if a hundred of them they show up in the front of my house right now. Who dare? This potato he claimed that he is a hero. He need the bodyguards. Oh, little girl. Why? Why you need a bodyguard? What they will do to you, honey? Hmm. Why the holy, the holy chat hating, insulting him so badly? I don't know, my my friend. Uh, guys, please, you are hurting the fan of Andrew Tits. Please show love. Okay, Devor, I want you to do not something. I think I think you can help us. Can you grant everyone here a full access to web camera in his website? 
I think all those guys they will like him more. What do you think? I think you are a decent person who is supporting a decent man. And, you know, you are right. Why the whole chat hating and insulting him so badly? I think because he did not give them a free membership. What's wrong with you? Enough is enough, man. Why he don't give, based on love, to his fan, free membership to his website? Look, 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 look. Look how many hours left, brother. Look, you have to pay $40. Look here, here. Not this one. Where is it? Huh. Brother. Get lifetime access at just $49. There's zero day, 19 hours, 11 minutes, and 30 seconds left. What's wrong with you? Hmm. Buddy become Muslim because he said, Christian don't defend the Christ. You know, but just to show you how stupid this guy is, after he said what he said, people, they start doing poo-poo at the Quran. Is that correct, people? Is that correct? He made a post in in his Twitter saying, look, can you do that to the Quran? Somebody was uh, 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 like uh, cutting pages from the Bible. Can you do this to the, to the Quran? People, they start doing poo-poo, shitting on the Quran, putting the Quran to a seat. A woman, she is wiping her ass with it, all stupid, you know, stupid stuff. Did Andrew Tate dare to make a threat to any of them? I insult Allah every day. Can you ask Andrew Tate, the son of Muta, do you dare to threat Christian Prince? Now don't tell me he is in jail. At least make a threat. Don't tell me he cannot do it right now because, I mean, are you, are you afraid? What is the hero? What is the one who stands for Allah? I laugh at Muhammad every day. Every day in my life. Life on air, not in private. I wrote many books, giving screwdrivers to Allah and His Prophet. Who can you do that? You know, who said we don't defend Christianity? We do. We are the one who defend Christianity. They are cowards. Anyway, before time is up. You better get your opportunity. Get your hurry up. Price is in increasing soon. $300. And by the way, this advertising is there for the last century. Hurry up. The price will increase to 300 soon. <laughs> because I saw this link many times. And each time you open it, you see, get lifetime access at just $49. The hurry up, the price is going to increase soon. And you open the website tomorrow, and it says the same. Get lifetime, okay, you open it next month. Get free access lifetime because it's going to be $300 soon. Okay, you go, you go uh, next 10 years from now. Go and, you know, and those donkeys, they just pay. And this guy, he got rich and rich. And the donkeys, they stay donkeys, and the poor stay poor, and the scumbag is going to, to jail. Uh, somebody wanna call me, his name is Walid. I didn't, I didn't see anyone, no Walid. All right, I don't see any Walid here. If you are a Muslim and you are believing that Andrew Tate, the, the, the Matrix are attacking him, please let me know. I would love to hear the Muslims calling to defend their brother in Allah. He is a decent man and the Matrix are attacking him. Mm. Weird, weird, weird. You know what? Why it is like that? Each time a prophet come, a Muslim prophet come, everybody is against him. Finally, after 1400 years of a prophet Muhammad, we got the prophet Andrew Tetz. 
And what they do? They try to frame him. And what is the reason? Because he converted to Islam. But the guy, he have cases against him long ago. In fact, look what he say in his video. This is long before he converted to Islam. Listen, listen. Hey, Ted, tell us what happened, what happened? And you're gonna stay here and we're gonna make some money. Big fight kicks off, blah, 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 blah. In the end, long story short, three left, two stayed. Those are my first two girls. And we started this little webcam business from my apartment. And it just grew and grew and grew. And it got to the point where at one point I had 75 women working for me in four locations. 75 women. None of them was a hooker before. The same business. He texted him and his brother. They bring them to date them. And they lure them into prostitution. What a wonderful man. 75. You know what? If it was 72, that is a great sign. I mean, why 75? Are you sure they are not 72? Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, you will get 72. Next time you make a video, you idiot, change the number, make it 72, the Muhammad, and they will like you more. 75 women, they are working for him. Louder, because the sound is not good enough. Uh huh, really? Okay, let me see. I will make it louder. And we started this little webcam business from my apartment and it just grew and grew and grew and it got to the point where at one point I had 75 women working for me in four locations Damn. and I was doing $600,000 a month from webcam. So this is in the UK. You this started is in the it, UK. Right? Uh -huh. This is in the UK. So, but this leads into the story. $600,000 a month from vaginas. And he is bragging about it. Look at his lips like a duck. Son of Muta. You see, when you have no shame, you have no shame. And here you ask yourself, those who they are defending him, they are defending who exactly? He converted to Islam for money. That is a stupid statement. The guy already have a $300 million in his pocket. What for money? I will tell you why he converted to Islam. He knew that things is getting narrow and narrow in his neck. And they are, you see, his 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 pimp administrator, the girl, what her name, what her name? I know, she was a police officer. She had connection with the police and she told him, they are preparing for you a big file. There's many accusation already filed by many girls. And that opened the eyes on you. So now he prepared himself for the worst. And the worst is if he converted to Islam, in the worst scenario, he will fly to Afghanistan. Pakistan. Like Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is wanted in India. He's wanted. He fly to Pakistan. Who is going to touch him there? He will open, you know, a bachabazi business in Pakistan. Not girls, boys, you know. Naked boys in the camera, as the Pakistani Muslims they do, and Taliban. And he will be, you know, so doing business again. So he is, he knew, because his hooker, the leader, the manager, she was a police officer. Even the head of his security, the head of his security is what? Anyone knows? The head of the security of his house is an ex-police officer. So he look what he do. He was preparing himself for protection by hiring police officers. Those who are guarding his house, they are police officers. The manager hooker who work for him, she is a police officer. Did you ask yourself why he is hiring police officers? If he is worried from the police? Because in his mind, and he said in his video, that those Romanian are corrupt. I just pay them money. Right? Andrew Tate cannot be a prophet since Muhammad, he said he was the last. No, no, you are wrong. Your prophet never said Muhammad, he is the last. 
he said he is uh, the seal, which means he agree with all the prophet before. But Muslims are stupid, like 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 uh, many uh, many stupid people in this world. They don't understand the Quran. However, uh, I believe that Andrew Tate he is more qualified to be a prophet more than Muhammad. As an example, his ethic is better. There is no proof until now that Andrew Tate have sex with girls who they are six years old. That make him better than Muhammad. Number two, he did not have unlimited number of wives. He have unlimited numbers of hookers. Muhammad he have thirteen wives, yet still he want more hookers. Andrew Tate's he don't claim that God told him to open a pimp business. Muhammad he claim that God told him that he is a pimp. Aka Allah. Isn't it Allah he will give you 72? Look, Andrew Tate he said he will he, he have 75 women working for him. You go to heaven, what you get? 72. So here you see that the point is taking the side of Andrew Tate. He have 75 already, while Allah will give you 72. Who won? Andrew Tate. All right. Uh, I, I agree with you what I agree with you in your Islam takes but it's not very Christianity of you to condemn Russian standing for Bible and supporting NATO Ukraine with their LGBT yeah yeah you know I'm I agree with you now yeah I mean the Russian they are supporting the Bible and one of the biggest country in the world is in the Islamic territory of Russia where women they open their legs for prostitution and cameras I mean do you see how much Putin he care for the Bible he is not supporting LGBT but you can open your legs in front of the camera in Russia and you can make money and no problem you can be a billionaire and you can bring 70, 80 girls to your yacht and bring all the Arab boys to drink and have sex with the virgins and uh, Putin, he is supporting the Bible. I mean, I can tell. And Putin is destroying churches in Ukraine too. <laughs> and he's bringing the head of Chechnya, the guy who is a drug dealer to kill a Christian in Ukraine. I mean, he supports the Bible very much, brother. Yeah. The agenda, he's against the LGBT. <laughs> Do you see how the pimps defend pimps? Do you see how the stupid ones, they have a brain of a chicken? And do you see how they try to fool you? Suddenly Putin now is a guy who support the Bible. Yet he defend Muhammad in TV. Isn't it the Bible says, whoever deny the son and the father is an antichrist? So how Putin he defend Muhammad? Why? Huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> if you defend Muhammad, I mean defending LGBT is way better than defending Muhammad. LGBT, they are not killing people. They are not. Did you see any LGBT exploding his ass in, in a church or in a bus? No, they don't. Muhammad defended by Putin for a reason because he's a scumbag. But he loved the Bible, brother. Yes, he loved the Bible. He go to the church every Sunday, especially when the camera is there. You know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Ukraine. Don't change my topic. Listen, potato. All of you, get out of here. They want to change the topic from our topic. They, they took half of Ukraine and now they are claiming that the Ukrainian are killing the Russian, the biggest country in the world. The massive army in the world is victim, brother. The Ukrainian are killing them. You know, the one in text who defending you, uh, Putin must be, your name is Olga from Russia. Aren't you Olga? Be honest with me. Aren't you all from Russia? I mean, even the Russian, they are against Putin. They are sick of him. Anyone who oppose him, he either in dead by poison or by a knife or he put him in jail. Show me one person he oppose him. He is not in dead. <laughs> that must be Olga from Russia. She is. Anyway, so brothers and sisters, the Matrix, they are attacking brother Andrew Tits. So I want all all the supporters of uh, 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 of Andrew Tate's, uh, especially uh, Muslims.
like uh, <coughs> uh, like who? Uh, I mean, we have to have somebody have connected connection with the tits. This guy, he went in the front of the Chinese embassy and he took off his T-shirt. And then two weeks after the president of Egypt, he was kissing the ass of the Chinese president. And since then, we did not see him naked no more. And by the way, Mimi Hijab, Muta boy, the T-shirt you took off is made in China. Just to let you know, potato. And the microphone you are holding is made in China. Just to let you know, brother. And in case you do not know, even the Quran, which Saudi Arabia is spreading around, is printed in China. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just I typed naked hijab by mistake. I should type naked Muhammad hijab. And man, what I see in front of me is something you don't want to see. I cannot show you. Oh boy. Okay, change the page. Change the page. Change the page. Uh you do not know anything about Islam? Sure I don't. You know, this is why I am so similar to Muhammad. Muhammad, your prophet, you know nothing about Islam. And I do not know anything about Islam. You ask the Muslims, why ISIS are chopping head? They say, ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. But ISIS, they say we are a Muslim terrorist. ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. But everything ISIS they do is doing as Muhammad did. ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. Look like Muhammad wasn't a Muslim. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I like, I like the supporters of Andrew Tits. May Allah teach you all. Okay. And uh, you know what? I think all of you are going to go to rich so soon. Drugs. Pimps, filthy language. You go in camera naked and supposedly you want to show us your muscles. I wonder this guy how long he will last in a fight with some street boys. You will get rich. Just hang on there. Mm. I think if you learn from Andrew Tits, how to do tits business? You are going in the right direction. But Andrew Tits, you see, he make videos, and I advise you not to make videos in the future if you do his business. Because this guy, he proved he is a stupid because all his crimes is listed in videos. <laughs> you know, he thought if he hire a lot of like uh, very high paid uh, lawyers, they can save his ass. And this is the whole point. You know, like actually uh, uh, money can do a lot of work. I mean, you have uh, uh, at least 300 million dollars in your bank account. But your videos, what you will do with them? What you will do with those videos? If you say to the judge, hey, judge, this video you're playing of me, I was lying there. Oh, so you are a liar. Are you lying now? <laughs> why I moved to Romania. So mm -hmm. at the height of my webcam pimp, and I think I'm the king of the world, right? I have all he just called himself a pimp? <laughs> I mean, this guy is honest. I, I, he called himself pimp. Like, you know, I mean, it's like, what is the problem? He called himself pimp. Okay, so, but this leads into the story of why I moved to Romania. So mm -hmm. at the height of my webcam pimp, and I think I'm the king of the world, right? I have all these women, da, da, da. But the problem is, my first two girls who worked for me worked for me because they loved me. Mm -hmm. I love this man. Right. I am with this See, this one alone is a human trafficking. Why they work for him? People, do you understand? He, he want to make money from them. But why they work for him? The first two girls. Why they work for him? Because he loves me. And he is teaching them now, and he have tons of videos saying how you need to fool a girl and make her think she loves you. Tons of videos. I mean, the videos is all over. You have to convince the girls that you love them so they can do anything you want. They work for you. Hmm.